We're going to start with a really simple down regulating breath work, one that you're going to be able to use in your own time to really down regulate your system and move towards uh, feelings of peace, of calm. Every Saturday morning on Melbourne's Elwood Beach, James Hartson and Fisher McCasey lead a very chilled group of people to take in the sea breeze and simply breathe. You're going to take two inhales. So the first inhale will be to a comfortable level. The second inhale will be fully in and then out nice and slow through the mouth. If someone's watching this now and they've never heard of breath work but they're a little bit curious, why should they try it? When we think about mental health, we think a lot about changing our thoughts, but actually with things like breath work, you can change the physiology first, and then once you're feeling better with your physiology, so whether it's a decreased heart rate, you know, decreased stress hormones in the blood, then you just naturally start to think a little bit better and feel a bit better. Fisher played AFL with the Adelaide Crows, and James travelled the world on the international tennis circuit. Both put their sporting success down to breath work. Yeah, for me personally, through tennis, uh, I was always a bit of a hothead on the court. Uh, it's very difficult to think about how you're going to beat your opponent uh, when you're up in your head throwing rackets and all that. So just being able to sort of shift my body into a, a calmer state made me think more logically. Uh, I was probably better able to figure out my opponent and win a few more matches from it. With footy as well, there's a lot of performance anxiety that comes with it and stress, and I sort of needed something to deal with that. Um, started off with a bit of meditation, and that was pretty good, but I found breath work was, um, sort of took it to the next level um, and it enabled me to really decrease my stress and sort of perform better on game day as well. Managing their mindsets while playing sport and in life gave them a greater appreciation of community. So their beach workshop is as much about connecting as it is about breath. And then a big part of our session is connection. So that's where we're going to pair people up, groups of two, three, and we just guide conversations. We've had some really great connections made, friendships that have been sort of founded by coming to these sessions and people meeting each other. So that's, I guess, probably the most um, rewarding part of what we do, seeing these friendships flourish just from this community that we've created. Building those connections now extends beyond the sand with high school programs designed to help kids reduce stress and anxiety. Young people, because we know there's you know, some mental health issues with young people today, to give them these practical tools that they can use. As I said before, yeah, a lot of the mental health talk is a lot about the mindset, so giving them these tools to change their physiology is really important as well. Hopefully through sharing our personal stories, fish with his footy, myself with tennis, just being able to connect with them and you know, sort of get across that message that we were in their position not too long ago. Taking your last few breaths of this technique, maybe seeing if you can take the least amount of breaths in this last one to two minutes. I'm a big fan of what the guys are doing here, so I did take it into my work. Um, I work at a special high school and after the program was run, we saw the students use it in their own time and when things would get a little heated between them, we'd see some students remove themselves and, and um, practice the breath work. Uh, I like to play music, um, so, and I get stressed during those situations when I'm up performing, um, but I feel like doing the breath work really allows me just to stay calm during that. Yeah, straight away I was greeted with a hug, and I've made connections with people already, so yeah, I would definitely say to somebody if they're a little bit anxious about coming out in social situations because they're not sure whether they're going to meet people, then it's definitely a welcoming community already. So that ends the formalities of today. Um, thank you again so much for coming down. But after all that breathing and making new friends, there's just one more thing that'll seal the deal. That class was awesome, but I think the bit that I was really waiting to do was definitely the plunge, so I'm getting in.